Okay, I'm back guys, sorry, my controller turns off at the slightest twitch, I guess, so, anyways, um, if you have a lot of quakes, you can make this a lot easier on yourself, especially if you have, uh, elemental defense junction, so, we're just gonna ha split them 60 to 60, yes, it'll lower Zell's HP, but, um, be able to junction this, too, be able to absorb uh, earth damage, which you're going to want to do. So now let's go. Alright, so now we go in here. We just want to hug the right wall. We have encounter half, so we shouldn't have that many random encounters. Right here, you see there's a dead end on the right. Go that way. Straight. And there's a statue. Oh, guess it's not a statue. Here's the boss. No, it doesn't play the boss music. This guy just mostly uses uh, physical attacks. So we're gonna try uh, using Siren. Now, this guy, um, heals as long as he's touching the ground. Um, but there's a way to prevent that. There's actually two ways, actually. One is casting float on him, and the other is silencing him. I'm just stacking up on, uh, Yeah, I never knew that you could actually maybe silence him and stop and see him. Actually, I'm not sure completely if it works, but I've never done it. I always use the slow trick, so we'll see if this works. Alright, he didn't get silenced. Yeah, he's gonna keep healing, so... physical attack, so if you don't have really good defense, you can always just draw protect on him and use it on him. Um, last silence. I'm actually going to see if this works. I'm going to see if you can actually silence him. Okay. It doesn't guard. Other magic is there, but I don't feel like it's really useful, so I'm not really drawing it. And I can definitely do much more damage than he can do, as you can see. Yeah, he's already dead. Get 8 G high potions, so 20 AP. Masters, this isn't over. Ooh, and a save point. Alright, save here. Now, if this goes too long, I'll, I might just split this into two parts. Now, once you beat him, I think it's sacred, it's called. Now, look here. Now, you want to hug the right wall again. And another random encounter. Or not another, first random encounter. The enemies here are not really that hard. They're mostly these Blabras guys who pretty weak to magic. They're pretty resistant to physical attacks, as you can see. And their color determines, uh, they have shell. Their color determines what they can be hurt by. So you see they're, uh, blue like that. So you want to cast a blizzard on them. I'm going to try to bust these guys. Yeah, they take a lot of damage from the direct element. Critical and man to steal stuff. Alright, I wanna see if Squall can actually damage them. Yeah, I guess not. Anyway. Just use regular player. Okay, apparently that is not the right element. I'll just keep hitting it since I can do. 
Junction. So now, we can also do this on Zell. He has Kiragos. Um, doing the best thing for his HP right now. Um, I guess Light! Alright, now it's Quake. Yeah, Zell's HP is not that high, but we'll see how this will work. Now right here, take a right again. This maze is not that hard, mostly you just gotta hug the right wall, because everything's on the outer portions. Now here, make a turn. This thing goes down once you beat the boss. That and here's float, which is useful if you want to do the float thing. Now I believe there's a switch here. That's done. You go straight. Right. Again, hook the right wall. You'll know you're going the right way if the there's a curved path leading to the left. Turn right here. Go down here. There's another save point. Is Kira. Give that to Renoa as well. This is our, Renoa's like our designated magic user. And we'll save here. Okay. Now, uh, press this. Switch. Now, it gets that done. Like usual, hug the right wall. Uh, yeah, hug the right wall again. Now, up here, you want to take a left. Once you get back there. Once you, if you want to be sure, just go back to the beginning, and then from there, head straight. Once you do everything correctly, this drawbridge will be down, and you can go in. Now, you see this guy again! Yo, yo, you back again? Took it easy on you last time, but not this time. This time, by my big bros with me. Now it's your chance to run away, man! Man, this guy's a major idiot. Bro! Bro, what is that? Yeah, bro! Yo, bro, these guys crashed the tomb. P Plus, they attacked me. Oh, really? They attacked you? Not bad for a human. The puny ones, the elder brother, and <laughs> Zell's laughing at him. Yo, bro, they're making fun of us. Foolish as all humans. I'll show you not to judge a book by its cover. And here's an actual boss battle. Complete the boss music. So, here we got Sacred and Minotaur. Both of them have that ability to heal from the ground. Right there. Um... Sacred also has double in addition to the circuit as well, so if you want to call that by all means, go ahead. Now, they have a couple of different attacks. They have an attack, earth attack, but they together. Um, let me see if I can actually use Cyber. Um, I'm going to mug them and see what they have. Alright, he has nothing. They have mo Minotaur is more, which is a physical attack on your entire body. Really, your Sacred just does regular physical attacks on you. Which is wacky. Do you have anything? Alright, so they have nothing to mug. I'm trying to take it easy on them just to sort of show you what they have. And there's Angelo in action. Uh, get damage or something, you can have a random counter attack. So here I'm drawing a cast attack, which you can do if you're not as, I guess, over, over prepared as I am. I'm just so curious to see if this works, so I'm trying it again. I don't know if they're just art designs or if they're a music design.
difficulty. So, guys, this is Sign879. I'll see you guys next time when we go back to Dillon City. Bye.